Do you ever wish that there was a magic number that would give you an inside view on your profitability? Do you wish that there was an easier way to take the pulse of your business's financial health? Do you wish that there was one financial metric that you could use to help determine if you are moving your business in the right direction? Well, let me tell you, understanding your gross profit margin can make all the difference for you and your business. As a business coach, I often sit down with new clients and discuss their financial affairs. Most can give me the basics about their finances, but nine out of 10 business owners look a little clueless when I ask them about their gross profit margin. Welcome to Summit Scale, where entrepreneurial leaders come to learn how to grow their small businesses into mid-sized companies. So let's first begin by looking at what gross profit margin is. Gross profit equals total sales less cost of goods sold. Your cost of goods sold is your direct cost to produce or acquire to resell your product or service. It generally includes materials costs and direct labor costs. And when you express your gross profit as a percentage of your total revenue, then you get your gross profit margin. For example, if you were a business with 1 million in sales, that's your total revenue, and a cost of goods sold of 250,000, then your gross profit margin would be 75%. 750,000 gross profit divided by 1 million in total revenue. In a very important way, your gross profit margin is a simple measure of your ability to be profitable. If it's too low, what that is saying is that your price relative to the cost of producing your product or service is simply too low for you to ever be profitable. Remember, your gross profit only accounts for direct costs of producing your product or service and not for any of the other costs of operating a business like sales, marketing, operations, admin, finance, let alone profit for the owners. So let's now look at how to use gross profit margin in your business once you have your magic number figured out. You can use it to make some really important decisions surrounding your business. Things like, firstly, your pricing. If your gross profit margin is on the low side, one easy way to balance the equation is to raise your pricing. And most business owners put this task off for way too long and it has a huge impact on your ability to scale and grow. Consider when the last price increase was, your value in the market and your competition and then raise your prices accordingly. My biggest tip here, don't try to be the cheapest out there, be the company that provides the most value for its customers. Secondly, your cost of production. Cost of production is another problem area that a low gross profit margin can reveal. If It, it can alert you of product lines that need to be discontinued or markets that you should ignore. You can also use this as a tool to approach your suppliers and try to negotiate for a lower cost of goods in order to compete. And thirdly, how you stack up against your competition. If your industry averages a 50% gross profit margin and you are operating at a 60% margin, then you know you're on the right track. If your gross margin is less than your industry average, consider making some changes to meet industry benchmarks. At the end of the day, your gross mar profit margin can tell you a lot about your business and give you a clear cut plan on where you should improve for the future. If you'd like to experience a free complimentary coaching session with me, go to www.summitscale.biz slash consult and book a call to see if you qualify. I'm Shane Spears of Summit Scale. See you next time. <laughs>